Look who's on your left, Callum. Go on, Mumba. Yes! Fancied by Whittingham. Get in! Get in! Come on! As cool as you like. 1 0 to the green. Sheep, sheep, shaggers, sheep, 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 shaggers. Come on, please. What's up guys, how are we doing? And welcome back to what is another video. And you join me on another walk across Central Park. But yeah, we're back in green today, obviously. The big dark green and this obvious green because we got a home game once more. We're back home for the first time since that FA Cup game against Sutton. And championship wise, our first home game since the Watford game, the 3-3. Plymouth Argyle take on Cardiff City today. It's only a month ago we last faced them as well, that Boxing Day clash. A match that still irritates me to this day because we were 1 0 up. Whitaker scored two goals. We were 1 0 up. And then Matt Butcher did one of the most terrible mistakes I've seen all season to cause an own goal. Cardiff level. And then they took the lead before Whitaker equalised. But. Yes, a point's a point away from the road, but it's a missed opportunity in my eyes. We should have won it. We could have won it. Really annoyed me. Really annoyed me, that did. But yeah, Argyle versus Cardiff today. Plymouth versus Cardiff today, obviously. We sit 19th in the table going into this match. So if we win today, we go up to around, if results go in our favour, we go about, I think, 16th, which isn't too bad, considering I've, I've now got us optimistically 15th in the table. 15th in the table. So, that'll be interesting. Cardiff, I think, will finish 11th. Still a long way to go, though, but... Oh God, the last time we did come to, um, we did face Cardiff at home park, we lost 3-1. Um, our goal was scored by Alan Gow, Cardiff had a hat-trick thanks to Michael Chopra. So I wonder what's going to happen this time, but today guys, it's a must win in my books. We haven't won a game since Rotherham last month, Suey's final game before he buggered off to Stoke. And... It's about time we look for our eighth win of the season. Even Cardiff fans are bricking today. So that's pressure on us. But obviously our home form is miles better than our away form. So there is that as well. But yeah, must win today, must win today. Like I feel like it's gonna be a very, very, very 
long, long end to the season if we don't win today. It'll also make our Huddersfield points look even worse than it already did. My score prediction today, 2-0 to Plymouth. Morgan Whitaker to, Morgan Whitaker to score. Come on the greens. But yeah, must win today in my, in my books. At his 15th, the highest we could go today is 15th if results go our way. Cardiff currently sit 13th in the league. And if results go their way, the highest they can go is 7th, realistically 9th, because obviously that depends on the goal differences from Sunderland and Coventry. But yeah, I'm really excited for this game, but it, I feel like it's a must three points in my eyes. Like we have to win this, honestly. Also, I feel like our February is going to be really tough. We've got Coventry and Leeds coming at home. And in a way, we've got Swansea, Sunderland and Middlesbrough. All games where we could at least get a point from. But it is that first away win of the season we need very, very soon. But yeah, no, um, my predicted lineup today, I'm going with Hazard and Goal, unsurprisingly. But he needs a much better performance than he did against Huddersfield. I'll tell you that now. Um... And then my back four, I have to go Gibson, Pleggy, Joe Edwards, and potentially, you know what? I'm going to go with our um, replacement for Kane Kessler Hayden. Matthew Sorinola, one of our new signings. I reckon he's going to start today. Two other signings I think will start today as well Alfie Devine and Giabi with Jordan Houghton in that midfield. And then my front three is Mumba, Whitaker, and Hardy. So that's what I'm going to go with. Obviously, Wants to look out for for Cardiff. They've got Perry NG, uh, right back, who I think is the, the best right back in the league this season. Definitely one to look out for. Obviously, still no Aaron Ramsey, but it'll be a tough match because E-Roll Bulot's a really underrated manager and Cardiff's a good side. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to head to the ground now. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Ah, oh, must three points today, guys. Cardiff at home. Let's do this. Come on, you greens. While I'm walking towards the front entrance of the grounds, I am going to talk about our two new sidings um, because that has happened while between the Huddersfield video and, well, this video and also my podcast. If you haven't seen my podcast on my midway predictions, please go and watch it now to find out where I think your club's going to finish now at the end of the season. But, yeah... Our new signings are Matthew Sorinola, who's a Kane Kessler, Hayden, Kane Kessler Hayden replacement. I think he'll start today, personally. Permanent deal this time as well. And also Adam Forshaw from Norwich. And he's an experienced championship player as well. And that's something our squad needed was experience. So, honestly, I'm really excited to see what he brings out. Anyway, yeah. Big game, as we all know. Right, like I said, guys, 2-0 I'm going with. Rich, what are we thinking today, uh, then, I after two, Huddersfield? I reckon 2-1 today. Oh, OK. Any of our new signings you think will start today? Because I have backed um, Sorinola to start today. I reckon 3 or 5. Yeah, I reckon Adam Forshaw's 
come on, they died. Deadies and midfield, they yeah. died. No. I'm glad we signed him because that brings us championship experience. Now I'm into the team. Doing that well, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. So the, you're saying 2 1 to us? I went the 2 1, yeah. Score, who's scoring for us? Morgan. It's got to be Morgan, only hasn't Mary. it? It's got to be Morgan. Only Mary, only Mary look like two and four. Morgan. But he's now the second highest scorer in the league, so it just shows he's flying at the moment. And um, is there anyone for Cardiff you're nervous for today? Because I have backed Perry and G, they're well, right back. I don't even know who's here or not here today. Yeah, no, fair enough. Today, so. yeah. The only one that's out, as far as I'm concerned, is Ramsey, and he's yeah. been out for ages, so oh, well, that's done you. us relief in a way. Yeah, but don't be interested in we'll to know who actually down Order. Yeah, no, that's very true. Yeah. That's very true. But yeah, no. Um, so three points today, you reckon? Three points. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. after we got Tottenham, two five and eight, two five and nine in the league. That's true. Yeah, because the last time they came here, they won three one. Chopra hat trick. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see three what happens really. Yeah, the three one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At home, yeah. yeah. No, away though, we won. We yeah, went yeah, away. Yeah. yeah, we did win away. That's true. Yeah. Um, well, Which I thought we were going to do this year, but then, well, Matt Butcher had other ideas. So. Yeah, and that's what happened. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. But yeah, hopefully we'll get our revenge today. And it's about since we haven't won now since Rotherham, it's about time we get our eighth win of the season. It's, so it's it's yeah. it is definitely Joe. It's definitely Joe. <laughs> well, Woody from Bastille is an Argyle fan, so no wonder that's there now. Anyway, let's head in. Yeah, it is a must three points today in my eyes, guys. Come on, lads. Seven and a half minutes gone. Still no nil. Only just got to my seat after turnstiles, and I've already heard super shacking. We know what you are. <laughs> Speaking of which, Cardiff sold out today. Look at that. And once again, referee goes against us. For God's sake, are you taking the? That's a disaster so far. They've let the pyros off. Don't let the pyros off. We're f defense. We really are. Same sh every game. I don't blame them for being so happy. We're just useless at the back. Oh, Goyle! Oh, Goyle! Oh, Goyle! Why is it we always f***ing see first? I hate football. It's a must win today. This will be a disaster if we don't win today. We will be in trouble. We've got to fight back immediately. That's it. Pass to Ryan. Oh my god, how? The 
kept it in, no. Straight to Cardiff's key. No. Tell you what, they're non stop singing to be fair. Unless that's just because they're winning, I don't know. <sighs> Come on! No what on earth are they doing? Bit. We're still going, that's divine. Have a shot! Take him on! For sake! They are a proud nation, look at that fight. That's what it's all about. We're giving the ball away far too much. Go on, Ryan! Oh, frick, their defence is there. We've kept it, though. Come on, Divine. Alfie, in! Yeah! Again. Oh, I love you, Ryan. Oh, Gio! Just what we needed. Just what we needed. Because it was looking so bleak, dull, and crap before that. Hardy, I love you. You're not singing anymore. You're not singing, you're not singing anymore. Sheep, sheep, sheep suckers. Sheep suckers, bastards. We know what you are. If you love the green, stand up. If you love the green, stand up. That's so, that's, that's cruel. But hilarious at the same time. Come on, lads. Score update. Nil-nil at Wednesday against Coventry. Birmingham's one up at Stoke. QPR's one nil up at home against Millwall. We've got work on our hands here today. It's And then it's one each between Blackburn and Huddersfield. Hang on. That's it. Take him on. Cardiff's defence is everywhere at that point. Go for it. Oh. Come on, boys. That's it. Come on, Miller. Ref. Ref. No, he's not. No. No. He's booking Miller for diving. You will bastard. Tuck your shirt out! No wonder you've given it, you tight ass f Try and relegate us even more, you corrupted officialing Oh no! That's it, boys, well done. That's it, keep going. That's divine. Hang on. God's sake. Come on! Ah! Oh. Alfie gave it a go, but it was just it was just too it wasn't strong enough. Cardiff's keeper had that no problem. Come on! Come on, Miller! Oh, I would have tried to send it in, but hang on, it's not over yet. Oh no, Cardiff won the ball back for the time being. Galloway's all on his own there. Eh? 
and that's half time. 1-1. One, one. I'm happier than I was at the beginning, but still, this is not a good this is not a good enough result if it stays like this. We need a strong response this second half. Well, there we are. I've said my thoughts so far already. I I'm I'm not happy. I, I'm not happy at all. I don't care what pe if people disagree with me, that's up to them. But yes, we've come back. We were one nil down. It was looking pathetic and but I'm sorry. After what I saw at Huddersfield, I can't I'm sorry, I cannot accept a draw today. And Cardiff fully deserve it so far and fair play to them because we need to wake the hell up. Our defence is poor again with how we've conceded that goal. Long, big second half coming. Very important, very important. But Rosevear said to me off camera, at least the new signings are playing well. And I do agree with that, to be fair. But 1-1. One, one. In for an important second half. That's all I can say, really. QPR's winning, terrible news. Wednesday's losing, good news. Blackburn and Huddersfield are drawing, that's good news. I have no clue about Rotherham, I have no clue about... Actually, no, I do have a clue about Birmingham. They are beating Stoke. Right, what do you make of that then, Liam? Because um, I'm not happy, I can't lie. To be <laughs> brutally honest, I'm not happy. Even though we've come back, thanks to Ryan, the GOAT, again, yeah. I'm not happy. Um, I'm, good I can't lie. Hardy, but... Um, their goal was just poor as usual. And, uh, just us yeah. defensively wise, just atrocious yep. again. As always. But best player so far for us? Uh, probably, probably Divine. Not, yeah. Not really sure. He, you know, he's, he's had a decent game so far, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, do you make, what do you reckon we should do second half then, basically? Um, I don't know who our subs are, to be honest with you, I didn't check that. I know Julio is one of them. I don't know why we didn't start Julio today. That's, that's what I thought. Yeah. I saw Scar play and I was like, did you not see Huddersfield Foster? Yes, I get it's only a second championship game, but I don't know. That's just my yeah. opinion. So I just hope we win the second half, mainly it's about it. It's a big, it's a big um, second half coming. Yeah, definitely. Hope it, let's hope we can do it. Yeah. yeah. Harvey, what do you make of that then so far? I thought the first okay, 25 minutes were poor. The first 25 minutes were poor. And um, after that, we grew into the game. Remember, this is the manager. Well, I'm doing the new style of play. This is new formation. And we got low, and we got we brought in loads of new players as well. It takes time. But so far, after the first 25 minutes, I thought we grew into the game and played pretty well. Yeah. We just, to be honest, I could see a goal was coming from a mile away. I could see a goal was coming. I don't know if a lot of people said that, but I did, definitely. To be fair, I saw some missed chances from us. I thought, yeah, yeah. how did you not get that in? So we were going... We nearly had an instant reply after we conceded. From yeah, no, I, yeah, I saw that, saw yeah. that. Um, but, yeah, we can say, yeah, again, our defence is um, far falling apart again. But... Um, it was from a, uh, honestly, it's shot, shot, from a corner again. Oh, oh, we always could see corners home. Literally, home. we've done it since August when Huddersfield came We always yeah. could see corners home park. It's a no-brainer. Sure. It's the Argyle way. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed, yeah. do so. Go, go subscribe. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be so, yeah, I <laughs> thought I'd put the reference up there. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, the Miller penalty call, what did you make of that? It looked like a penalty to me, but... Because I went mental when that happened, but I need to properly look at that. I don't have to look at it back. But a yellow card? Seriously? No. But he gave Miller a booking for diving. Yeah. Got to ask, by the way, the penalty call from Miller. What did you make of that? Because he got a um, yellow for diving, which I, I thought was right. wrong, but I need to look at it back. I need to look at it back as well. I can't really tell. I'm not, yeah. when, I, when I was trying to get my phone to fit, he, he just went down at the, at the, uh, at the wrong time because I almost got it, but I, oh, can't, yeah. I can't really tell. I'll have to look at it back. Yeah, no, when I first looked at it, I went mental, but I need to look at it back. Anyway, yeah. Uh, if Miller's, uh, if Miller's, um, if that was a guy from Miller, then I'm ginger. Thank you, Saints. I agree, Cardiff fans. Way! <laughs> Have that shoey! 
Bugger off, Cardiff. Come on, the Argo. Big second half. Come in. Come on, the Greens. We're still going. We're still going. Remember. Come on, you gave it a go. You gave it a go. Go on, Moggs. Oh, we need Wiz to score as well because he's a former Swansea man and Cardiff will not like that at all. Stand up if you love the green stand up. Again. Finish it! We're trying, we're trying. I'll tell you what, I don't want to jinx anything, but we're looking much better this second half. It, it's all come from when we took the lead. Keep it up, Greens.
Good header. I'll tell you what, what a day you have had today. Randall's coming on. And coming on, sponsored by the Argyle Fans Trust, is number 20, Adam Randall. Hey! And also coming off, sponsored by the Putnam Car Centre, is number two, Marley Mumba. And coming on, sponsored by the Queen of the USA, is number eight, Joe Edwards. Edwards on, our captain. Off, no, no, Jackson, what a block, keep possession now, get rid of it, no, no, get rid of it, no, Jackson, what a save, what a save from Connor, another corner to Cardiff, that's it, clear it Connor, clear it, give the new guys the chance so I don't blame Fozzie for that one you see the Argonne are f***ed off home it's a long way to Wales when you it's a long way to Wales long way to Wales long way to Wales when you that's it oh I'd love a hardy hat trick today Go oh, Whittaker! Whittaker! Oh, nearly four! Nearly four! Come on! Hardy gets a hat trick, that will make my day. That will make this whole round day today. Apart from 1,700 sheep shaggers. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding today. Hardy's on fire, your defence is so bad, Hardy's on fire. La 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 Outstanding performance today. 
absolute superb from Harvey today. And coming on, sponsored by Cliff Walker, is number 23, Ben Wayne. Right, Wayne for the last five minutes and then I'll say, are you gone, mate? Have a good one. Completely, fully deserved. No arguments, no debate about it. I mean, the new guys have been very good today, but no, Hardy fully deserves this, especially in this second half. That's it! That's it! Outstanding, outstanding. Eighth, eighth win of the season, let's go. Fully deserved. Ryan Hardy, can I have all your hot dogs? I freaking love you, mate. We're back. We're back. Our first win since Rotherham. We fully deserve that. Fuzzy is at the wheel. Our eighth win of the season. We're 15th in the league. Where I think we'll finish now. Oh, oh girl, I love you. I love you, I love you. That second half, absolutely. That was a masterpiece of the second half. Fozzie's at the wheel. Brian Hardy. Well, thank you for your fantastic support this afternoon. There is actually a correction to the attendance. This afternoon's attendance brought to you by Air Bank Services with 16,573. That's 16,573. And those 1,700 seat saggers got cold up the channel. Right, Bobsy next. But Leeds in the FA Cup first. And then our next game back here is Coventry on Valentine's Day. That'll be a very interesting game. I want revenge for the robbery in November. Oh, mate, that was an unreal second half. We needed that today. We badly needed that today. And now we're 15th in the league. Results going in our favour. Oh, that's good news. 1-1. One, one. Good. Thank you, Borough. Norwich being West Brom. Get in! Please stay like that. Hey! I certainly will enjoy the rest of this weekend. Absolute, ah, oh, incredible, in, in frick incredible. Hardy, can I have all your hot dogs? I love you, mate. The perfect song to end a perfect day at the office. Oh, mate, that was special. Why am I not surprised it's dry? Oh yeah, W-E-1. I've actually stuck tape over his eyes. Well, you lost, didn't they? Didn't you? So turn that mouth upside down. Get in, Green Army! That's all I need to say. That is all I need to f say. That second half was an absolute goddamn masterpiece. Hardy can have all my hot dogs. All our new signings turned up. And move on to... I actually move on to Rosevere for this. But Ro Rosevere's got huge credit for um, one of our signings today. Adam Forshaw. Why is Forshaw your man of the match? Yeah. yeah. Um, wait there. Um, honestly, Forshaw, that, uh, in that midfield, you can see his championship quality. When he was on the it's ball... It's the experience we needed yeah, as well. When he was on the ball, beats past players... Very, very solid, um, and his passing no, uh, next to none is absolutely fantastic. Unreal second half, nothing yeah. else we can say. Yeah. Honestly, what do you make of that, Liam? Um, much better than the first half, put it that way. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there, there's no <laughs> denying that whatsoever. Uh, I was so f***ed off after the first half. Now look at us! Anyway, yeah, carry on. Uh, so Swansea lost, Swansea lost 3-1 and so did you guys. So oh, lucky! Um, 
well, Swansea, to be fair, won. Swansea, to be fair, did win at home park, unlike Cardiff. So that just shows that only one half of Wales can do well at home park and, uh, this season. For you, for Cardiff fans, Swansea lost. You lost as well. So um, to, to be fair, I agree with the Cardiff fans with Swansea losing because that's done us a massive favour. Was there yeah. anyone? Is there anyone that stood out for you though today, regardless, especially in that second half? I thought uh, Adam Forshaw had a decent game. Yeah, same as Rosevear. Like, uh, all our signings, I thought, played well today. Hardy had a really good game, scored. Oh, mate, he worked his absolute socks off. No wonder he got subbed off at the end. Especially his second goal, which, um, obviously, I got on canvas, that it is. Uh, oh, 100%. Um, that just rounded off pretty well. And if he can do that away from home against um, the other sheep on the... Uh, uh, which is our next championship game and we're all going back to Wales at the start of February. Yeah, it's a two yeah. um, it's Leeds first and I mean Yeah, FA Cup first. Gonna, I'm not being biased to anybody here, but if they play uh, a weak squad and focus on the league, I genuinely see a beat them. I tell you what, imagine us getting a point at Leeds, then we replay them at home park. Yeah. And yeah. you never know what could happen with that. I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong, we'll take a replay. But, oh, so would I, I'd take a replay. But the only issue with that is we played them on the 17th of February, so... Well, I mean... You know... Well, that just means our home game, the championship, will have to be postponed. That's just, that's just what it is at the end of the day. And Sky would have to, well, rearrange it. Yeah. I guess. Again. Yeah, again. So... <laughs> but, yeah, but, no, um... Pretty good win. Eighth win of the season. And all at home. Um, yeah, all at home, check, yeah. Which is a good thing. 27 points. It's about now. time at bloody Swansea now we get our first away win of the season, if we can. And get revenge from the home game in October. Because <laughs> Rotherham uh, almost got the first away win before us. And that would have been embarrassing. Yeah, but so, you know what? That's a terrible good result for Borough, regardless. That's a brilliant point for Robin. Okay, but, and that's the other thing that's so much better about today, guys, is that apart from QPR, this has been a good day for us in terms of results going out uh, our way. Huddersfield drew, or did they, wait, did they drew? Yes. Huddersfield drew, Blackburn and Huddersfield drew, which has done us a massive favour. We're now ahead of Blackburn in the table. Just, what else? Wednesday lost to Coventry, massive result for us. QPR did beat Millwall, so that's a good. QPR beat Millwall, so that's a good result for QPR. Um, and then, yeah, like Harvey's just said, Shuey lost again. This time to Birmingham. So thank you, Brum. Birmingham's right there with us anyway. Uh, and then, yeah, Rotherham got a point at Middlesbrough, which just shows Borough once again cannot beat. From newly promoted um, sides or lower low, lower uh, table sides. They're helpful as poor. Well. Yeah, very poor. Which means I generally see I generally see us getting a point against Boa. Yeah, so do I. Last time we went Middlesbrough, we beat them. Yeah. And then yeah, and yeah, obviously Southampton did us the biggest of favours earlier beating Swansea 3-1. So yeah, it's been a good day for us, very good day for us. So it's not the end of the video yet, but for now, we will um before I go on to the next part of my video, it's it's about predictions um, because about six people, I think. So Liam Rosevere, England, Caitlin Bolton fan, Luca Ipswich fan, and Daryl have all sent me their midway predictions. So I'm going to spend the last part of this episode reading out everyone's midway predictions and what everyone thinks. Um, well, in general, so. All you guys in the chat have something to chat about as well regarding that. But what I will say is, after that, we're 15th in the league. And I wonder who's predicted us to finish 15th for the end of this season. Yeah. Knowing my luck, the smug face will not last long. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, we'll go on to that part now. But, yeah, as for now, guys, we will see you at Swansea in two weeks. But first, the FA Cup back at Ellen Road, so we'll see you then. Right, and we're back. We're going to read these predictions out now. I didn't have time to do it in town at the end, unfortunately, with Rosevere and Liam, but we'll read them out. Again, I'm still absolutely buzzing with this 3-1 win today. So let's see what we went for then. This is Rosevere's. From bottom to top, he's got Bottom, Rotherham, 
23rd QPR, 22nd Blackburn. That's an interesting shout, to be fair. I wouldn't rule Blackburn out, to be fair. That is interesting. 21st Wednesday, 20th Birmingham, 19th Huddersfield, 18th Us, 17th Millwall, 16th Swansea, 15th Preston, 14th Stoke, 13th Norwich, 12th Cardiff, 11th Watford, 10th Middlesbrough, 9th Hull, 8th Bristol City, 7th Sunderland, 6th Coventry, 5th West Brom, 4th Ipswich, 3rd Leeds, 2nd Southampton, Champions Leicester. And uh, yeah, he said to me that he's got Leeds to beat Ipswich in the playoff final. So let's move on. That's mine. We've done that. This is Caitlin's, uh, a Bolton fan, who um, a good friend of mine from Discord, known as Tropical Wonder on the YouTube comment section. She has gone bottom Rotherham, 23rd QPR, 22nd Huddersfield, to so the same bottom three as me. 21st Wednesday, 20th us. She said that her reasoning for 20th is because, for us, is because Foster's experience might not get us higher than we hope. But again, 20th is surviving, so who knows. 19th Millwall. 18th Blackburn, 17th Birmingham, 16th Swansea, 15th Preston, 14th Stoke, 13th Bristol City, 12th Cardiff, 11th Watford, 10th Middlesbrough, 9th Norwich, 8th Sunderland, 7th Coventry, 6th Hull, 5th West Brom, 4th Leeds, 3rd Ipswich, 2nd Southampton, Champions Leicester. And Caitlin has got West Brom to beat Ipswich in the playoff final. On to Liam. This is Liam's. He has gone bottom Rotherham, 23rd QPR, 22nd Sheffield Wednesday. So that's the first one that reckons Sheffield Wednesday will go down. Huddersfield to survive in 21st. 20th Birmingham, 19th Blackburn, 18th Stoke. 17th Millwall, 16th us, so one place below her than me. 15th Swansea, 14th Cardiff, 13th Bristol City, 12th Norwich, 11th Preston, 10th Middlesbrough, 9th Watford, 8th Hull, 7th Coventry, 6th Sunderland, 5th West Brom, 4th Leeds, 3rd Southampton, 2nd Ipswich and Champions Leicester. And Liam told me that he's got Leeds to beat Southampton in the playoff final. Uh, right, this is my friend Luca from Discord. Ipswich fan, also known as PandaBoy74. In the YouTube comment section. But yeah, Luca's gone. Bottom Rotherham, 23rd QPR, 22nd Huddersfield, so the same as me. 21st Wednesday, 20th Millwall. 19th us, 18th Birmingham, 17th Blackburn, 16th Stoke, 15th Swansea, 14th Preston, 13th Bristol City, 12th Cardiff, 11th Middlesbrough, 10th Norwich, 9th Watford, 8th Sunderland, 7th Hull, 6th Coventry, 5th West Brom, 4th Leeds, 3rd Ipswich, 2nd Southampton and Champions Leicester. And he has got West Brom to beat Ipswich in the final by that message there, basically. This is Harvey England's. He has gone... Harvey England's gone bottom Rotherham, 23rd Wednesday, 22nd Huddersfield. So an all-Yorkshire relegation zone there. And us to survive and come 21st. QPR 20th. Blackburn 19th, 18th Stoke, 17th Millwall, 16th Birmingham, 15th Preston, 14th Swansea, 13th Norwich, 12th Cardiff, 11th Watford, 10th Middlesbrough, 9th Bristol City, 8th Hull, 7th Sunderland, 6th Coventry, 5th West Brom, 4th Ipswich, 3rd Southampton, 2nd Leeds and Champions Leicester. And England told me that he's got Ipswich to beat Southampton in the playoff final. This is Darrell's. He has gone...
Bottom Rotherham, 23rd QPR, 22nd Wednesday. So the same as Liam. 21st Cardiff. Wow. That is an interesting one, to be fair. Well, Cardiff fans, I've looked on social media, don't seem confident with the team at the moment and, well, the board and all that after their defeat to us today. 20th Huddersfield, 19th us, 18th Blackburn, 17th Watford. Lower than what I had for Watford, to be fair. I've got Watford 14th. 16th Birmingham, 15th Stoke, 14th Millwall, 13th Preston, 12th Swansea, 11th Norwich. Swansea's a lot higher than what I thought, to be fair. 10th Borough, 9th Sunderland, 8th Bristol City, 7th Coventry, 6th West Brom, 5th Hull, 4th Southampton, 3rd Leeds, 2nd Ipswich, Champions Leicester. And he's got Leeds to beat Southampton in the playoff final. But yeah, Daryl, of course, is a Borough fan. And yeah, he's got Borough 10th. So he's not very confident on his team at the moment. And I don't think that's going to help either today because Rotherham got a point at the Riverside today. And last but not least, this is my mate Fletch, who's a Sunderland fan from Discord. He has gone bottom Rotherham, 23rd QPR, 22nd Huddersfield, again the same as me. 21st Wednesday, 20th us, 19th Millwall, 18th Blackburn, 17th Birmingham, 16th Swansea, 15th Preston, 14th Stoke, 13th Bristol City, 12th Cardiff, 11th Sunderland. He's not confident on his team at all. He's a Sunderland fan. Of course, 10th Hull, 9th Middlesbrough, 8th Watford, 7th Coventry, 6th Norwich, 5th West Brom, 4th Ipswich, 3rd Leeds, 2nd Southampton and Champions Leicester. And Fletcher's got Norwich to win the playoff final against Ipswich. So an East Anglian derby final he's going for. That would be very interesting. That would ruin Ipswich's season, that would. To outclass Norwich all season in the league. To then that to happen. It'd be carnage. East Anglia derby final at Wembley. Be unreal. So there we are, guys. That's what some of my friends have said for their midway predictions for the championship 2023-24. Again, an incredible win today. Um, bef um, before I... Um, Pass before I do my outro, I just want to say um again a massive thank you for the support um this channel. I'm doing everything I can to get to a thousand subs. Harvey England is gonna close this video with his thoughts on the game. So you guys have a chance to see what he thinks as well from this. But as for me, goodbye for now. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green Army, full-time, Plymouth 3, Cardiff 1. An amazing win today, guys. We'll see you for the FA Cup against Leeds. And for the next Championship episode, we will see you at the other Sheep Shaggers, Swansea. Take care, guys. Cheerio. Hello. Hello, everyone. On, on the Cornish Janice channel. Massive shout-out to Jack for getting me on. Uh, he's asked me for my full-time thoughts. I've just got home from the game. Um... Yeah, I mean, positive result. I feel like feel like second second half showed the the, the argol that um, Ian Foster is trying to bring out. I thought the first half, obviously, they they're getting their go inside the first um, inside the first ten minutes from from a corner. You know, it's never ideal. From Perry NG, he's been on he's been on fire for for Cardiff this season. I feel like at times during the first half and possibly a little bit on the second half, when when we played with the ball, we we was Holding back, I thought we played around the back, possibly overplaying, looking too much for that gap to move forward. But it's worked. Um, obviously, Ian Foster's still going to be trying to implement his tactics in. The players now need to start gelling, obviously, with the new players in him, coming in. Adam Forshaw coming in um, straight into the lineup. Alfie Devine uh, coming straight into the lineup. But Ash Phillips, you know, another another good performance, another strong performance. Scar, Scar, I thought Scar played well, and he's a player that some would say is on borrowed time with with the quality of centre backs we've got at the club at the moment. Obviously, with Gibson out injured, uh, Plagueswayla on the bench, which is a big player to have on the bench. I really rate Plagueswayla. Uh, I feel like you know he's a centre half that that gets the job done. Um, but yeah, Hardy getting a brace, could have got a hat trick, ran his absolute socks off. Massive shout out to to Hardy. Obviously, you know. 
he he just he just gives a life into the Argyle fans. Seeing him seeing him running up and down when when he ran that keep down gave it to Whitaker, which to be fair you you'd put your house on them scoring, but didn't. I feel like you know it's 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 a good confident booster to go into Leeds, which is obviously a, a massive chance for us to get a little bit more cup, cup success in the next round of the draw if if Leeds are focusing on trying to get to the automatic uh, playoffs. They may they may play a second side, which Ian Foster may be able to to figure out a weight on, on how to beat. But yeah, it's a massive win. Um, three points in the right direction. Big shout out to Jack. Make sure if you haven't already, all subscribe to him. Top boy, top legend. He knows his stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all on his video soon. Up the Argo. When they pull on the green, they're all janners.